Hello everybody, I'm reporting back with my new setup for the Kappachen Kappanaze device. Here I have um, created some components which you should be familiar with when you know the Kappanaze device. So you have on the left side on the bottom here you have um, the coiling system. You have the load, this load is 4 times 200 watt halogen bulb. I will measure the current over here with a clamp meter. I will measure uh, the voltage over here as well. So I will not rely on the brightness of the light. I will go over that um, later in, in, a, in a different step. Then we have the spark gap. I use carbon and copper. I have a vacuum cleaner connected as well because it becomes quite hot to um, vacuum the hot plasma. And over here we have my MOT micro oven um, transformer in a standard setup. That means the cap is connected one pole directly over on the output which will be your plus. The bottom one is connected with a diode to the ground which will be minus and the strange thing is believe it or not it's on a drawing from um, Jean-Lou Nardine and I use the same one because I was curious actually I use this negative output here to feed in my system we have then on the other side the input watt meter so what I'm going to do is I compare input watt with my readings from my current meter and my voltage meter and that gives me an average of the performance of the system. So I want to show you um, what it means or why the system or the load has to be connected in series. When we talk about a microwave oven transformer, we talk about 2000 volt it can deliver. With sparking, it will be higher. With our coil, it can be much higher. So what the system needs to be able to deal with is a high amount of voltage, a lower amount of current. However, voltage is crucial for the system. And the only way to deal with voltage, high voltage, is to have serious connectivity of the loads. That means we have the 800 watt in parallel. But if I connect them all in series, you get only a fraction out of the system. That will um, be the case when you when you connect them in um, in series. Let me start this one here for you. Okay. Let me start it up to main voltage. So here you see 13, 20 volts. You see um, 50 volt. It starts to glow slowly, 80 volt. So we'll go to my 240 volt. So that gives you some indication of what 200 volt in a series resistance gives you here. 220 volt. Let's leave it like that. That's 0.4 amp, 230 volt. Yeah. So that's the current, current draw of the series network and that's the brightness we have to deal with. The system is very very sensitive to voltage and current. I can tell you I did connect many various combinations of bulbs and I lost many of them as well. They blow out in an instant. However you cannot use 500 watt so if you have almost no resistance it's no good either. It's just you're just shunting um, the power into the into the ground, but you will you will not get any kind of feedback from the system. So this seems to be a good start. However, it is not good enough. I will have to increase the amount of, of bulbs here. But this gives you some indication of, of brightness. 240 volt, ordered for amp. That's about 50 watt. Yeah, 55 watt currently it draws from the system. Yeah. 
So what the system tells me here um, on a watt meter, it tells me 99 watt. So 99 watt is drawn currently from the system on a watt meter. We start with a spark gap of 0.3 millimeter. I've positioned um, the meter as you can see behind the light because the light will become very very bright and everything around it will become dark. Let's have a look. The plasma is very strong as you can see it's lying around. I have to start the vacuum here. Sorry about that noise, sorry about this noise quality in general because I have to um, take pictures from my camera and not from my video camera and that's not as good as before. Use the voltage to 150 volts. With that 150 volts at the moment on the input side, so we have 482 volts on after voltage drop. On the this side, we have 0.6 amps. So 0.6 turns 500 volts on the input side. 150 volt on the input side. So the system is now set to 0.2 mm, so it's less spark gap distance. That means I cannot deliver so much energy anymore because the spark gap is, is, is smaller. Let's have a look how that looks like. It starts from 80 volt already. But you see I get only 140, 160 volt into the system. But interesting you see I have 0.4, 0.6 amp. So the amp is much higher at the lower voltage. That's quite interesting. That increases a bit to 100 volt input. So this gives me Almost 1 amp, order of 9, 1 amp and 180 volts. Plasma is building up quite strong between the magnets. So you see that there are two sparks, now well, you can't see that really, but there are actually two sparks coming out around it. Let me start the vacuum cleaner. performance is better now with the vacuum cleaner. I have higher voltage but my amp is also lower. I have 230 volts and over 5 amps. That means 110 watts goes into the system. 